Now, we'll create models, DB context classes and database. So inside models folder, create the class named users. Inherit this class from identity user. If we go to definition of this class, we can see many properties like email, username, etc. but we can't see full name property. So, create a string type full name property in users class. Now, create folder named data. Inside it, create a class named app db context. Inherit this class from identity db context and pass users class to it. Now, create constructor of this class with options. Now open program file. Above build method, register app db context class using builder.services.addb context method, pass app db context class to it. Then create options and use this lambda expression. Then use options.use SQL server method. Inside it, use builder.configuration.getConnection string method and pass connection string name to it in string format. I have saved connection string, so I'll copy that. Open app settings and paste connection string here. You can set server name to local, but I have SQL Studio, so I'll get server name from there. So, open SQL Management Studio. Copy server name from here and paste here. Now, enter database name. Now, we'll create migration, so open package manager console. Type add migration and enter migration name and run this command. Migrations are ready. Now, run update database command. It's done. Now, open SQL Studio and connect to server. Our new database is created. Now, open users table. We can see full name column here, which means users class is added successfully. With this, our database is ready.